whether you like tracking your foods or not, and you're like, oh, it's a bit of a ball ache. One thing you do need to track is your fats to the gram initially, not forever, initially, because my tablespoon of peanut butter and my missus's tablespoon of peanut butter is totally different. Hers is 20 grams, mine's fucking shovel full. So the calories there, all of a sudden are 300 different, but I've only had a tablespoon and she's only had a tablespoon, mm. but I've had 300 calories more than her. Yeah. yeah. So people need to get on top of the fats because they're, the, the, and you might think, oh, that's, so that's not dense. that much. Yeah, it's, it's so it's, calorie dense. It's like oil as well, isn't it? When people use olive oil, they just don't even consider that as, as a calorie. And it's... I do that on a lot of lives, you know. Yeah, do like, you? I do, yeah. With our clients, we always get a few laughs with it. It's just people just drip, going like that with oil. Like, it's a really healthy meal. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, tablespoon of oils, 120 calories. Yeah, mm. I had a client who, who used to have a salad all the time. <laughs> she used to be like, I love salads, I love salads and stuff. She's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. She's lost a little weight. But when I first met her, she's like, I love salads. And then I was like talking to her and then, so what do you put in your salads? And she's like, well, blah, blah, oh, an olive oil. And I was like, how much? She's like, well. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? What's that? Yeah. yeah that's probably yeah. fucking 400 calories there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, 500. And again, we're not demonizing it. All I'm saying is just controlling it. If you're going it's to have knowing it. that. Yeah. That's the big issue. It's the education on knowing that that olive oil has that many calories in. How many people don't know that? Mm. Do you know what I mean? How many people just chuck it in? When they cook chicken, they think they're cooking healthy and then they'll just be like, oh yeah, just fucking boom. Oil. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and even, if, yeah, yeah. Even if it's still healthy, they're wiping their deficit out. They're, yeah, killing it. Killing so, it. So yeah. yeah, oh yeah, but it's fucking healthy that though. Because you, because you, you know, so fucking healthy. That's why I've had a whole pack. Yeah, but that's just wiped the deficit out. And when we talk about fats as a percentage, like let's hit your 20%, 25, 30%, I would say maximum, that sort of macro range, but let's control the portion sizes. You don't need that much because they're so calorie dense. You don't need that much of it. You don't need that much of it to hit those calorie targets. Trust me. So it should be small portions of it. They should never be taken completely out of the diet, but you should have small. So what I tend to do with, again, people that are more rigid and prep clients is they will have a salmon based dish in there every third day. For omegas, yeah, 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 for and, amigas, yeah. but but what tends to happen and for good quality fats? But what tends to happen is when you when you put a more calorific food in there like that, because salmon is quite more calorific than chicken, is you have to drop the carbs down. Mm. And he's like, and then eventually they don't like doing that meal because they no, don't have as much. So usually they have like say, you know, eighty grams of rice or hundred grams of rice for that meal. But all of a sudden now it's just salmon and veg, mm. or salmon and a tiny bit of you know potato or whatever. It's like, it's not as satiating because it's a smaller meal, but it's great for having those sort of fats in if you're being rigid. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, those, those sort of things just need to be monitored closely. That's the initial phase. Like if you're starting to track or you're starting to get a handle on what calories are going in, those are the things that need to be measured to the gram initially. <laughs>